Welcome to Burning Bright, a weekly podcast presenting poetry and prose from Passenger. This week's podcast features five pieces from Passenger's brand new, hot off the presses poetry contest issue. And next week's episode of Burning Bright will feature an interview with the 2024 Passenger poet, Joyce Schmid. Susan Zimmerman said she went to a musical performance by a father and son and their obvious happiness together was infectious. She said she said to her friend, Not dead yet! And the poem developed from there. Here's Susan's poem, Not Dead Yet. Post-reunion brunch. My back to the aging, dwindling gang. An old flame nuzzles my neck. I startle, arctic so long. Animal ache awakes. Not dead yet, Susan Zimmerman. The poem jumped out at me when I was reading the new issue because my 60th high school reunion is this weekend in Ohio. Turns out, Susan made up the part about the reunion. Here's another poem about that earlier time in our lives from a writer who also grew up in Ohio. The Future by Judith Bowles. My father said our light blue Studebaker was the future. It moved forward when it idled. We were seniors in high school, Bev Smith and I, dying to leave Ohio on a long country road, fences and empty corn stalks. We got out and walked along the idling car. Let loose, I took off my yellow blouse, waved it in circles over my head. Bev gave a yell and did the same thing. Two cows raised their heads and stopped chewing. Judith Bowles' poem, The Future. The next poem ends with The Future, Crossword, by crossword puzzle lover and, I can't believe it, another writer with ties to Ohio, Bonnie Jacobson. The illusion that if you exercise the muscle of your mind you will someday think your way out of the box comes to you daily, right next to the funnies, on the page with everybody's lucky stars, and the unjumbling of four words whose letters guarantee they will make sense. All sweet palliatives, as opposed to the puzzle your life is when, plop, it lands on your doorstep, like somebody's love child meant to run this way and that, chasing its rabbits of joy. If it should fall, bind up its wound, sing it to sleep. More reliable than answers, the future comes true. When you are old and slow, the sum of your days will care for you. Bonnie Jacobson's poem, Crossword. John Biggs said laundromats are places where people perform private acts in public. Here's his poem about one such act that he observed. Sudsville. Hum and rumble of washers and dryers, round windows in rows like at the aquarium, a sleepy underwater feeling. A man on a yellow molded plastic chair reads a book called How to Be a Better Husband. He's underlining passages with a pen, pen cap dangling from his lips like a cigarette. He looks up at the ceiling as if he's looking for answers on a test. Now he's staring into the slosh of his washer, stunned by the strange, colorful fish, their baffling patterns of repetitive behavior. Sudsville, John Biggs. John said he was moved to write the poem, quote, for him and for other men lost in a changing world they don't understand. Many of us have had the experience of learning about something later in life that we wish we'd known about earlier. Maybe we could have done something about it. Or maybe just knowing would have helped. Here's Mark Freiberg's poem, Claudia. You are my family's dark secret. The firstborn, abandoned at the state's human warehouse. I only know you, big sister, from sterile reports found after your death, starting with your label, 
mongoloid idiot, ending with the mere number on your grave. Handwritten letters hint abuse, but mostly dull grayness. Two photos covered 36 years. I think you had red hair like our mother. A lifetime locked in a filing cabinet. I would have held you close, Claudia, in your helmet and diaper, if only someone had told me. Claudia, Mark Freiberg All five poems from this episode of Burning Bright came from the brand new issue of Passenger the 2024 Poetry Contest issue. All of these poems were written by people that received honorable mentions in the contest. Next week's episode of Burning Bright will feature Passager intern Ruby Taylor's interview with the 2024 Passager poet, Joyce Schmid. You can buy a single copy of Passager's 2024 Poetry Contest issue, but better yet, subscribe! You can do either of those things and learn more about Passager and its commitment to writers over 50 at PassagerBooks.com. Passager offers a 25% discount on the books and journal issues featured here on Burning Bright. Visit our website to see what's on sale this week. For Kendra, Mary, Christine, Roseanne, and the rest of the Passager staff, I'm John Shore. 